to meet the players. It's time to meet the Queen of the Palace, Harlem Shara, and the Ash, Nathan Now for a first ever meeting between Nathan Aspinall and Fallon Sherrick. The Asp lost in a last leg decider to Alan Souter yesterday. Suits with a brilliant 145 out to win that one. While Sherrick was left to room missed opportunities really against a below par Peter Rice. Scrappy affair that ended in a 5-1 defeat for the Queen of the Palace. So who can keep their knockout hopes alive here? Both have made it out the group before and both needing points now to guide you through this one here's john park and mark webster yes thank you emma our fourth match of the evening already seen wins for josh rock damon hetter and ross smith but our attention now turns to this group e match nathan aspinall and fallon sherrick and both underperformed in their opening matches fallon missed a real trick at two one down a couple of legs went peter wright's way which possibly could have gone her way and she kind of unraveled in the match nathan aspinall just started too slow against Alan Suter. He was chasing the whole match, and then Suter just found that bit of quality in the deciding leg. And now these two are at a point where they really need to get a victory here tonight. And um, Emma said they both made out the group before. Nathan Aspel is, in fact, defending a semi final from two years ago. So could do with a good run here. Fallon obviously had that memorable run last year. But something's got to give here, John. It's a tough predicament for the pair of them. They'll have to play better than last night, but it's a big ask, you feel, for Fallon Sherrick. She needs to be more clinical tonight because Nathan Aspinall, we expect to be better. Well, they certainly both have something more to prove than when they started the tournament. I think a disappointing first round can do that to you, and you don't want to spiral out of control. And the credible opponents to face each other, and each realize there's something on the line for each other and it's going to be a little bit of an urgency to get to a good start in this match. Definitely. It's a fourth appearance at the Grand Slam for Nathan Aspinall. Only got out of his group on the one occasion that was when he had that run to the semi-finals two years ago. He lost out to Dimitri Vandenberg. 16-15 in that semi-final. But you expect to get the job done here but Fallon, who played okay in patches last night. She just had a poor, like I said, a, she missed three darts at her leg to make it two all. And then she chased around for big numbers and just made a mess of a 56 finish and couldn't recover. Yeah, just a few missed opportunities. And, but it doesn't take much to go wrong in a match to really have a poor match overall. It, 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 the the knock-on effect. As well, of, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. knock-on effect can really do damage to your psyche inside of the match. She's making a positive start here. 12 darts thrown, she's down to 83. Nathan Aspel hasn't got going yet. Sixteen. require 83. So, Sherrick with time on the 83. Will probably avoid the 16 for ball, she should do. Here does 36 for the opening leg. And lucky. Well, I really like what I've seen out of her game so far in this. And it seems a lot more businesslike. Asking ask a little question. Here's the answer. Expect the adjustment. Well, just caught that other dart. I don't know where it might have ended up, but maybe a little unlucky. Well, that was the double that started the fairy tale for Fallon Show. If it the double 18 she defeated Ted Everts with at the World Championship years ago. Aspinall might have been scaring the bullseye there. So more opportunities for Sherrick for his opening leg. And gets it. Gets over the line. A holder throw for Fallon Sherrick. She's off and running. The second match of this year's Grand Slam campaign. 
And attacking a poor start to the leg from Nathan Aspinall. So Nathan already feeling some pressure in this match. Early going, but that's most of the best. A first to five is early going. Yeah, Dev, I'm so quick. John, if, you, if you've lost your first game, you want something to cut to in the, in the early part of the match. And Fallon's got that. She's got the opening leg. She's making a little bit of inroads here on the Aspinall throw. Won't be thrilled with that visit. Perfect that for Nathan. Yeah, it looked like maybe the wise thing to do. That second dart wasn't quite as firmly in as maybe he would have liked, and it also wasn't laying very nicely. 56. I think he would have liked to get a 180, though, Mark, really, yeah. ideally. There was plenty of space, but like you, you said, John, there was just, it was too delicate in the board, wasn't it? Good switch from Nathan. Yeah, he's starting to just work his way into the tie. Well, I, I don't think he can afford to be broken here by Fallon. Nathan, you require 170. And Fallon, she's a good winner, and she knows how to get ahead and keep a lead and press, press the issue. There's wow. a fine setup. 34. This is good from Nathan after a ropey first six starts in this leg. Nine darts later, he's got himself to 36. He's on wow. four to one after six darts, but a bit of pressure. Aspinall will expect to convert. Yeah, he's, Valen's uh, reversed it. She's in asked the question to Nathan, who gets it first dart. Well, it, it did look like he took a while settling, but appears to be now. I think they both are. And a better start from both. In the game yesterday, reminded the other game in this group is Peter Wright, the Allen Suter. That's our penultimate match of the evening. I think the way Suter played, Mr. Aspinall, I, I think Peter better be wary. Peter will have to play better. He was flat, wasn't he? But it was it was a flat game. You know, Peter and Fallon were very similar in that match. Just Peter had a little bit more clinical at the right time, and Aspinall is working his way into the tie. First Max. Goes the way of the Asp, making inroads on the Sherrod throw here now. 84. Yeah. Carving out a break of throw here. 99. Down under 100 after nine darts. A very good attack from the Asp. 80. It's unlucky. Let me see, yeah, but Aspinall has got time on the 88. This is a real good leg from Nathan. Well, he realizes Fallon doesn't have an outshot, so. He wants to stay there, doesn't he, John? But I think he's blocked the treble 16. He's not, yeah, he's going to work his way across. Just stay there, another one. Yeah, why not? Three singles, nothing to be ashamed of there. That's fine. No one your opponent's not on a finish. And that's how costly that bounced out that was for Fallon. So just got to apply some pressure and hope Nathan misses the 40. And there's pressure incoming. Aspinall gets three clean for the first break of this match. Nathan Aspinall with that 16 dart hold follows it with a 13 dart break. And there we see after the slow start, Aspinall. Looking settled now. Not really a leg and a half of under par, but then he's kicked in. One hundred. Fallon's playing very decently as well in this match. No counter out quite yet. You see, provisionally Nathan's on two points. Join Suter and Wright if he can complete victory early days yet. Yeah. Probably wow, Nathan wow, Aspinall. We've said this a lot today, but he's thinking win this game and then maybe Suter to beat Peter Wright. So it's just a head to head. Would would you take that, John? So it's less complicated or? Yeah, I think that's always kind of what you hope for. But you can get through on one win as well. If he wins heavy, it's it's a complicated one, isn't it? You want to give yourself. 
the best possible route, but first and foremost, he's got to finish the job here first. Yeah, costly visit from Fallon there. Nathan now with six starts to manage this one, four, six, and hold throw, but not a great start to it. 34 so far. Ooh, just gets under 100, really. A chance here for Fallon. The setter play has to be good. Yes. It's gettable, but she'd like more. But Nathan, may go two double 18s. Can't find. 54 remaining. Just double checking. I've done that a couple of times in this match, Nathan. Yeah, I think he went two double 18s, but I think he was almost more careful to go inside, and he ultimately did because of it. Oh, it's on. Double 18 to level. I think Fallon's looked much more likely in this match than she did against Peter, even. Yeah, the missed doubles, are, they're close, aren't they? But they're proving just as costly. Aspinall consolidates that break. 3-1, he leads now. Two legs away from Regston, his first two points on the board. See five darts, Mr. Doubles. Sherrick. Good percentage for Nathan. He missed a stack of doubles yesterday. A lot better today. Well, levels the tally on the 180s. Much needed at 3 1 down. Must defend her throw here, really. Yeah, obviously, you go a couple of breaks down, and it was at this stage yesterday, it went wrong for the second break. And Peter Wright closed out the match. Wow. Yeah, good last start. What can Nathan do here? Yeah, he needed to go to 19 and stay there, 19. so he leaves the 170. Will he get a chance? Aggressive, double 18. And again. This is inside. And this was the shot that won Aspinall. His UK Open. And it's on again here. Oh, he'll be disappointed. <laughs> the sarcasm from Nathan. More chances for Fallon. Went straight at it, so now has to fix it. And double four. And the doubles are, are her and doing again. She's missed eight in this match. And Nathan, is he going to let her off the hook? He hasn't. It's clinical from Nathan Aspinall. And he's on the brink of victory here now. And effectively eliminating Fallon Sherrick. Well, he's been a pretty good four of six at the doubles. In the match uh, compared to one for nine for Fallon, and that pretty much explains the 4 1 we're currently at. And what a way to start a final leg, what he hopes is a final leg. And it's looking likely now, John, isn't it? Fallon has been better, but it's not been enough. Nathan Aspinall just has to finish the job, but it's looking likely. Yet, but I feel she's going to need errors from Aspinall. And there's not been many of them in this match, John. No, he's he's got better as the match progressed. Sharper. He seems to be close to his ruthless best at this point. Still got six at one six four. Just got to be careful. Yeah, you, you got to get something half decent here, and that's ensured that with the treble 18. Fifty-seven. It can be quite eighty-one. It's a smile of frustration for Sherrick. Twenty for tops. To wrap up victory here for Nathan Aspinall. 
Oh, the match start come and gone will likely return. It's a big ask for Fallon. Make the new required 20. Double 10. Oh, he has to get the fives. And he does. Nathan Aspinall. He started out the match a little bit off, but he worked his way in. Fallon had some opportunities once again. Just a little lacking on the doubles.